New findings suggest Pfizer's COVID vaccination is safe and effective for kids 5 to 11. Due to the low risk of serious illness in children from COVID-19, researchers believe vaccinations must be very safe and have a major influence on the pandemic before they can be used in this age range. Pfizer vaccine BioNTechs is 90% effective in youngsters aged 5 to 11 according to documents submitted for the Food and Drug Advisory Committee hearing next week. Only 19 out of almost 2,200 children in this age range who got the active vaccination developed COVID-19. The three COVID-19 infected children experienced moderate symptoms including cough, sore throat, and headache, but no fevers, whereas the 16 placebo-infected children showed greater symptoms, with 10 having fevers. Pfizer studies BioNTechs in children aged 5 to 11 will be reviewed by the first of two independent review panels on Tuesday, with the goal of determining if the vaccine's advantages exceed its risks for this age range. The FDA Commissioner, CDC Advisory Committee, and CDC Director will all have to sign off on the injections before they can be given to the public. The meetings are set for November 2 and 3. As of mid-October, there were about 1.8 million COVID-19 cases in this age range, as well as 143 fatalities and 8,622 hospitalizations linked to COVID-19 in the United States. COVID-19 presently admits 30 children for every 100,000 in its catchment area. If there is any doubt in Dr. Cody Meisner's mind about the vaccine's advantages outweighing the dangers, he won't vote in favor of it for children aged 5 to 11. Infectious disease expert at Tuft University School of Medicine in Boston, Meissner wants proof that vaccines don't cause damage or adverse effects. Although I strongly believe in vaccines, I do not want to contribute to the spread of illness by administering them to children. There were only modest side effects reported in a different group of over 2,400 youngsters aged 5 to 11 including rashes and soreness in the location where the injection was administered to them. Children, like adults, were more likely to have adverse effects after the second dosage than following the first one. Among the three vaccinations available in the US, only Pfizer-BioNTech has completed tests in children and obtained FDA approval. Like the flu, kids may catch COVID-19 but are not the major disease vector. Children and teens are less prone to spread the sickness.